I knew that the train station was somewhere near, and if something is near... I am an actor, and I have autism. It's really hard for people with any disability to get a large role in a professional theater. But for the first time in my life, I'm getting to star in a major professional production. Use those words, Christopher! You said it on September 12th last year at first break. My name is Mickey Rowe, and I am playing Christopher Boone in The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. The Curious Incident of the Dog of the Nighttime is about a boy who has autism and his adventure that flips his world upside down. I am the first autistic actor to play Christopher Boone, and I am surprisingly one of the first autistic actors to play any autistic character anywhere. I've had to be an actor my whole life to pass as neurotypical. So being an actor comes so naturally to me. I use scripting in my daily life. For example, if I went to a coffee shop, I might say to the barista, hi, can I please have a medium drip coffee? How's your day going today? Has it been busy today? And then regardless of what they say, it's been busy or slow, I can then say, oh, would well, you like it better when it's busy or when it's slow? So that way I can kind of script my life so I don't have to deal with social interactions. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. In rehearsal is my happy spot because I have the lines, I'm playing a character, everyone else is playing a role, be it another character in the play or director. Frank, we have to stop there and take five, you guys. During five minute breaks or 10 minute breaks or lunch breaks is when you feel less comfortable. You don't have a specific role during that time, which makes it confusing for someone on the spectrum. On stage, there's often bright light shining on you and loud noises that come out of nowhere as sound cues. But you've rehearsed all these things in advance and you know where each sound cue is happening because it happens in the exact same place every night. So it almost feels like you're in control of those things. And because you know what to expect, you're in on the magic. We would have to talk to other people though from mission control. But we would do that through a radio link up and a TV monitor, so it wouldn't be like talking. It's so rare for any actor with any disability to get to play a leading role in any production, let alone a professional traveling production. I get to show people that people with disabilities, we get the job done. <laughs> 